wishes be with you. My son will be its custodian, as will be the sons of his sons. Through the ages, he will have the powers of a man-god, the powers of a puma man. The puma man. The puma man. The puma man. Well, Jane, do you think you can decipher it? Yes, it's an Aztec inscription about a man with the blood of a god in his veins who comes from outer space. A puma man. Please, continue. It's a curse. Whoever desecrates the Puma God image will in turn be destroyed by the living Puma man. That's ridiculous. It's just a legend. Sometimes there is more truth in legends than in history. So the curse can strike you too. I always prefer to strike first. presence in our history. It's an incredible discovery. We must inform the press. That is not for you to decide. You can't hide this. Who is to prevent me? Miss Dobson. Your mind and your will belong to me forever. slaves of men with this mask. We'll dominate the world. 
Who can stop us? The Puma Man. We must find him and kill him. Yeah, well, someone's gonna break your bones. Have you seen the victims' records? They're all Americans, like you. Sons of doctors, like you. And their parents were all killed in plane crashes, like yours. Do you want any more? You know something, Martin? You missed your calling. You should be an insurance salesman. Yeah, well, I've got the answer for you, mate. The second-hand parachute. Ha, <laughs> too late. Already bought a silk sweatsuit. What for? To break the free fall record. You are crazy. Do you know how long it takes to fall from a 30th floor? Less than two seconds. If it happens to you, what are you going to do about it? Learn to glide real quick. <laughs> You are the Puma man.
but he sure looked like one. And you're hunting him down with that club. Um, tell me, are we meeting in a dream? I don't think so. Then it's really true. I fell from the third floor. Aren't you hurt? No, just a little confused. My name's Jane Dobson, and I'd like to consult you about a brief thesis on the Mesozoic era. Well, if you're asking me how flying relates to man's evolution, I don't know. <laughs> Do we have to discuss this here? Is that a proposition? No, it's an invitation to my house tonight. My father's having a couple of friends over, and I was wondering if you could join us. I've, I've got all my books there, and it would be easier. This is the address. An invitation to the Dutch Embassy? Does that scare you? Uh-huh. Well, try to overcome it. My father's the ambassador. Okay. I'll even bring my ceremonial club. <laughs> come any way you like. But come. See you tonight? Nine o'clock? I contacted Tony Farms. There's a high probability it's him. Did you carry out my orders? Yes, sir. He'll come to my house for dinner tonight. Everything coincides, sir. Looks like we found the right man. Fine, Ranker. I do hope so. If only for the sake of the others. Everything is as planned for this evening, but there is one slight alteration. I shall be at your house myself. Dismiss the servants. I don't want any strangers interfering. See in the dark, you fall like a cat. You are the Puma Man. No, I'm a madman, and I'll smash your head in if you take one more step. Puma Man does not kill my people. He doesn't, but I do. Now get out of here! You can chase me away, but not the blood in your veins. Your father saw in the dark. Your father jumped in the air. Your father protected my people. My father was a physician. The only people he protected were his patients. A doctor here. But a great Puma man in the Andes Plateaus. Hmm, you're a crazy criminal, but this is the last time you go around throwing people out of windows. Before you call the police, look. You were only a boy at the time. I did not need to kill to find you. Who are you, anyway? My name is Vadinho. I'm the high priest of the temple of the god who came from other worlds. What do you want from me? I came to give you this. It belonged to your father. With this, you will have all the powers he did. 
I will teach you to use them. Put it on. You're nuts. I said put it on. The hell with putting it on. Can you imagine me showing up at the Dobsons wearing something like that? I say put it on. And you put it on. Okay, pal, okay. Take it easy. Get lost. I said don't go. The woman is the bait and the house is the trap. Jane Dobson is the Dutch ambassador's daughter. It doesn't matter. Don't go. They already kill four people, and you're next on the list. Put the belt on. You accept being the Puma man, or you will die. That's ridiculous. Look at my face. Do I look like the Puma man to you? You are the worst I've ever seen. But you are the Puma man. Did another monster get away? You look like a wreck. Oh, forgive me. I had a little car accident. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Mm, two doors and a bumper, barring any further complications. <laughs> oh. Okay, come on. I want you to meet my father. Father, I'd like to introduce you to Professor Fonds, the paleontologist I spoke so much to you about. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Sir George Bradley of the Energy Ministry, Sir John Forbes Asquith, Sir Michael Robinson. Yeah.
Another one of my father's very important friends. What, what's the matter? I don't know. I get this way when I sense some sort of danger. <laughs> With me? What could be dangerous? Your charm, perhaps. <laughs> You're not doing so badly yourself for a paleontologist. Well, I'm from the Neanderthal school, and occasionally my primitive instincts pop up. <laughs> You're sounding much better, Professor. You make me feel like I'm still in the museum. Why don't you just call me Tony? Okay. Tony. This is where I keep all my books. This is not an agreement, it's blackmail. By signing it, we place the control of the entire nation in the hands of one man alone. Mr. Cobras is the only man who can guarantee energy supplies. But at what conditions? If we accept, he alone will be able to shut down our factories, turn off our power stations. We'll have unemployment, hunger, cold. Nonsense. My only privilege lies in being considered indispensable by those who produce oil. You dominate them. But I can't figure out how. If you'd only consent to be my guest, I should be more than happy to show you my work methods. And I'm certain that every doubt would leave your mind. I've already told you I will not accept your invitation. What's happening is incomprehensible. But I will oppose this scandal with all my strength. If you have any left. He'll die immediately. If, on the other hand, he's the right one, he'll die after having proved that he's the Puma Man. So, dinosaurs became extinct because they no longer knew how to love each other. Is that correct? Exactly. And I certainly wouldn't want our species to end the same way. <laughs> That's the best biological blackmail I've ever heard.
up in the attic. He's saving us the effort of dragging him up. It's going to be a fine dive. convinced now? I don't know what's going on. I'm afraid to move. You do not fly, but your mind does. You are afraid, but the other you isn't. The other who? Tell me the truth, Fidinho. Who am I? You have the blood of the gods coming from other worlds. You are the Puma man. It's not possible. It's not possible. Tremendous leaps. It wasn't a man, it was a cat jumping. Finally, we found him. Now the only task is to kill him. And that's the easiest job of all. But why me? Many men have received special powers from the sky, but they do not know it. Now you know. Know what? That you cannot escape your destiny. What destiny? Come on, this is some kind of trick. How do I get down? With your mind. It is the mind that controls.
Who's controlling Jane's mind? Cobras has made her a slave with the gold mask. When you find it, she'll be safe. The mask conditions the will? Yes, if used by evil forces. And where is it? Ask yourself. The prophecy says, the living Puma man will destroy he who desecrates the Puma god. Tell me the truth, Vidinho. Is invulnerability one of my powers? No. Then a simple bullet can kill me? Yes. Well, then. Just watch the leap I take. The biggest leap a Puma man ever took. To go where? To get out of here. Cobras knows who you are and will hunt you until he destroys you. I know. It's either him or me, isn't it? Yes. I've got a sneaking suspicion you trap me. Not me, them. Teach me some Indio swear words, Vidinho. I've used mine all up. Well? The sooner we get this done, the better. What's your plan? To follow them until I find out where the mask is. Be cautious. Check the powers. And remember... I know. It's the mind that controls, not the muscles. Certain he would follow us. He's fallen into my trap. About to turn around. Be ready to go into action. Now. the area. Find him. Kill him. Where Cobras is hiding the mask. 
do you think is going to happen if you shoot me? You'll die. Right. Let's see what would happen to you. Are you going to cooperate, or do you want to end up like the gun? Put me down. Not until you talk. I don't know anything. I get my orders from Ranko. Where's the hideout? It's a secret. Only a few people know. And you're not one of them, right? Then we have nothing to talk about. Bye, pal. Ah! I'll tell you! I'll talk! It's in a mansion. I swear, in a mansion. But I don't know where. No one who's ever been there remembers it. Really. Everyone who goes there doesn't talk. They can't remember anything. They can't remember anything, I swear. I swear. What are you doing? Oh, don't leave me hanging here. Protected you. Yeah. You didn't help me find out where Cobras is hiding the mask. It's in a mansion. That's all I could find out. Fine. What do you mean, fine? You know how many mansions there are in London? I said fine. You can find it. You must learn new powers. All you do is concentrate. Here? No, we go home. So they can get us? They'll be waiting there for me. They're probably worrying right now because I'm late. I'm afraid something happened to me. Follow me. your proportions. Is this where you sleep? How do you sleep on that? How one sleeps does not matter. How one wakes up is important. Neil. Are you sure they're up there listening to you? Of course. And are they powerful? Absolutely. Then why don't they give us a hand? They always do. Only we do not usually know it. You know it now. Neil. Make silence in you. Leave all material things behind. Become part of the cosmos. Concentrate your mind on the image of the god Puma. Have you done this, brother? Yes. Good. Now think hard of that mansion. Concentrate. You will find it. And now prepare. You must take the great trip. Dive into the nothingness. Return to the surface where the sacred mask is. How is that possible? Everything is possible for the mind. Concentrate. You must have faith in your powers. In your heart. If you want to, you will travel. Go!
Thank you. Did you find it? No. But I learned that I can only project myself to a place that I know. I have to know exactly where I want to go, otherwise I'll get lost in the nothingness. Then we are no closer. Listen, Vadinho. Is finding the mass the only way? Yes. If we do not succeed, terrible things will happen. They have lost their connection. The mask is serving evil. Can't they do anything from up there? The man is free. The man is master of himself. But if they come, the man is no longer free. You must concentrate. You will find the solution in your mind. come from? Out there. What sort of a story is that? I'm the poor man. Who's he? Somebody out of a comic strip? I never heard of him. He didn't materialize until yesterday. Well, are you getting anything out of it? Mostly trouble. I told you, Tony, if you want adventure, why don't you join up with us? It's all the sports you can take, high jump, low jump, you get a free sauna at the end of it. I'll keep that in mind, Martin. But in the meantime, you wouldn't happen to have a transmitter and receiver to lend me, would you? You mean a position indicator? How does it work? The closer you get, the more constant the bleep. Over what range? Up to two miles. Okay. If you slow down, I'll get out. We here? No, I'm going the other way. What did you say you'd do, the sandwich man? No, the puma man. That's a whole different bag. What are you advertising? Men from outer space. Save yourself. Disappear. Please do it.
So, it would be useless. Corbus keeps those who command in his power. But you aren't going to make it. They will help me. Trying to impress me? Okay, I'm impressed. What now? Cobras keeps his people from revealing where the mask is by controlling their minds. But there's more than one way for a cat to skin. Skip it. Never mind, drive. But they'll kill you if they find you. Cobras wants to kill you. And they're following me. They're right behind me. Never mind. Tell me where the mask is. Don't ask me that. I can't. I swear I'd like to, but I can't. I'm conditioned to keep the secret just like everyone. I can't do it. Try. Fight him. Fight him with your will. I, I, I can't. He's commanding me from a distance. I, I can't do it. Tony, help me. Free me. Something terrible is happening to me. And to everyone. Help me. Don't leave me. There they are. Run. Run. Save yourself. What did he want? Nothing. He came to look for you. What did he want? Nothing. He didn't want anything. How did he disappear? I don't know. I don't know anything. Why do you resist me, Jane? You've fallen in love. And you believe this love will free you. But love is only an illusion. Listen to me, Jane. Jane, only you can cure this pain. This suffering in your mind. I will help you. We'll talk together. 
come to me. You will feel better. Your mind will be as it was before. Dobson, the time has come to call together all the members of the International Security Services Commission. Bring them here. I am waiting for them. Meet me in the laboratory. High-ranking officers. What the hell are they doing here? Gentlemen, I'm so glad that you considered my house a suitable place for this summit meeting. I'm going to leave you now to make your decision. It seems strange that we don't know anything about him. He's not in our file. Quite. Besides being a charming host, what credentials can this Mr. Cobras offer us? He's unknown to our services as well. That means he's not compromised. He's no merit to elude our security. This means he's so smart he can do it. That's a distorted way of reasoning. Is it distorted to ask why the summit meeting of the heads of state of the entire world must be held on private property? It's customary to hold this kind of meeting in reserve in selected locations. Everything becomes less formal. Not the first time. But does this mansion offer sufficient guarantees?
Fine, gentlemen. We can go home. You will receive further instructions at the property. The men who control the destiny of the world will be here. When the world is mine, I alone will decide whether it is to be war or peace, life or death, according to the new order which I shall establish. You will never again leave me for this irrational feeling you call love. I have an assignment for you. Tony Farms is the Puma Man, and the Puma Man is my enemy. Whoever is my enemy is your enemy as well. He must die. He must die, and you shall be the one to kill him. When he comes looking for you, greet him, smile at him, but you will be ready. Take this gun. When he comes near you, shoot him. Kill him. Finish him off. It will be the greatest act of love. It will be an act of love from you to me. Do you understand me? Meet me in the laboratory. High-ranking officers. What the hell are they doing here? Gentlemen, I'm so glad that you considered my house a suitable place for this summit meeting. I'm going to leave you now to make your decision. It seems strange that we don't know anything about him. He's not in our file. Quite. Besides being a charming host, what credentials can this Mr. Cobras offer us? He's unknown to our services as well. That means he's not compromised. He's no merit to elude our security. This means he's so smart he can do it. That's a distorted way of reasoning. 
is it distorted to ask why this summit meeting of the heads of state of the entire world must be held on private property? It's customary to hold this kind of meeting in reserve in selected locations. Everything becomes less formal. It's not the first time. But does this mansion offer sufficient guarantees? Fine, gentlemen. We can go home. You will receive further instructions at the proper time. The men who control the destiny of the world will be here. When the world is mine, I alone will decide whether it is to be war or peace, life or death, according to the new order which I shall establish. You will never again leave me for this irrational feeling you call love. I have an assignment for you. Tony Farms is the Puma Man, and the Puma Man is my enemy. Whoever is my enemy is your enemy as well. He must die. He must die, and you shall be the one to kill him. You cannot 
escape me, human man! You're just a small, insignificant human being. jump into space. Because you are made of Earth, and to Earth you shall return. belongs to you. The forces of the Cosmo have turned you over to me. Come back to me. I order you to return. I am waiting for you. Ah! Help me, Virginia. He's calling me. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? I can't fight it. Calm yourself. Ah! I can't. I've got to go. If you go, you're lost. They'll kill you. You must, you must resist. Repeat with me. Each man is a god. Each uh, man is free. Do not think of anything else. Concentrate. Repeat. Repeat with me. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Each man is a god. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Each man is free. Each man is a god. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Each man is free. I've taken away his power, and his will is broken. But he's putting up an unexpected resistance. I'll take care of it. Comb the area, find him, but don't make any noise. I don't want any trouble around here.
To kill yourself. To kill yourself. Listen, I want you to hear my epitaph. He wasn't much in his life, either as a man or a puma man. And now he's worth absolutely nothing. It is not true. You are a worthy man. You will be all right. Only if I lose a habit. Which one? Wanting to live! Sleep a boss death. Ten minutes with no life. It is in your power. Cobras does not know it. He cannot take it from you. Hold your breath. Your heartbeat can slow down. Diminish. Stop. That is right, Tony. Let yourself go. You are dead. You are dead for all, even for cobras. He's had it. We found him. He's committed suicide. Should I put a bullet in him just to be sure? No. It has to look like an unfortunate accident. But be sure that he's dead. You can count on it, sir. I couldn't find a corpse more dead than this one. What are you going to do with the body? Leave him like he is. Why don't you shoot him? Because Cobra said not to.
You've succeeded. They think you're dead. And now they will leave you alone. Yeah. But what about the mask? Forget it. You are only a man now. You cannot do it. And that dynamite is for that bastard Cobras? I said forget it. And should I also forget Jane? And the fact that Cobras wants to take over the world? Perhaps the gods have abandoned us. Or perhaps they want sacrifice. What sacrifice? My life. You want to destroy Cobras with a suicide action? There's got to be another way. Cobras has the police and all those who command in his power. I must go. Why you? I'm the high priest. I'm responsible. And if the death of one man can save many, that death is right. And the death of two men is just as right. You have no power now. And there's no reason for you to pay. I have a personal reason. But the price is too high. You don't come. Damned hardhead, stop giving orders. I won't let you go alone. You are right, brother. I ask you to forgive me, but you don't come. Try and stop me. I ask you to forgive me. Forgive you what? Everything will blow up for a mile in all directions. Tell Cobras I want to speak to him. What do you want? The gold mask. I'm sure we could reach some sort of agreement. Lead him into the great hall. Treat him like an honored guest. I'll join you. Free. Each man is free. 
You're free to obey me. You cannot escape my will nor resist me. Obey me. Each man is free. Each man is free. Each man is free. Each man is free. Take those explosives from your body. Don't do it. Oh, oh, oh. 
Evil has been defeated. Their protection has not failed. Do they also protect couples in love? Respect. Places like this were created by them to make contact. Neil.
pleased with you up there. But I'm not happy with them down here. What's going to happen to the mask? They are taking it back to its temple in the Andes Mountains. And I'm going with them. Does that mean you're going to disappear too? Tell me the truth, Vadinho. Are you one of them? We all are a bit. But if you want to see me again, when you are the father of the small Puma man, take him to the plateau. I will teach him the powers. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, brother. Honor it. Don't worry. Goodbye, Puma man. Tell me it wasn't a dream. You can prove it for yourself. Jump. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Never seen anybody make love in the air. But that's how you make little puma men. Ha, 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 ha.